this hairy triton and a load of other cool stuff that thing is mega oh man i wish it wasn't broken imagine the size of that lip when it that's the second one for today no octopus hole actually that's incredible look at that pattern that is definitely the best find of hey everyone we just arrived at the beach it is a fantastic looking day we've got quite a lot of piles around here let's see what we can find and uh, get straight into the shelling giant rock pool and look i was just stepping down into here look at that that's a uh, arabian cowry absolutely it's definitely an old octopus around here somewhere let's see if it is live or not i reckon it's empty oh yes definitely empty and my golly gosh it is beautiful nice that is fantastic i'm gonna get out of this water here because it's kind of Kind of deep there, I don't know what's around this area. That is awesome, look at those patterns. That's the second one for today. No octopus hole actually. That's incredible. Look at that pattern. That is definitely the best find of the day so far. Drop a like for that one, subscribe down below. I post videos like this every single day, you guys. Can't get much better than this. Wow. Nice. It's beautiful. That might even go into the case, honestly. Spotted a big old hairy triton down here. Holy cow, that thing is massive. Oh, shame it's broken. Man, that is enormous, full of stuff. Oh, I wish it wasn't broken. That would have been one of my biggest ones ever. Wow, that is gigantic. Today has been incredible. We found two Arabians. Uh, this hairy triton and a load of other cool stuff. That thing is mega. Oh man, I wish it wasn't broken. Imagine the size of that lip when it was whole. That's a giant, all right. Definitely gonna keep it, of course, though. It's just massive, 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 massive. All right, I gotta stop saying how big this uh, shell is. Wow. Crazy, all right. Let's keep moving on then. My pocket is now full of shells. Incredible. Hey, there's that bit of, uh, what is it, sea wood that we found a couple weeks ago. What surprises here maybe, I think I've just seen a Eglantina carry, but this is what first drew my attention. We've got a cherry carry right here, and yep, look, that looks like an awesome shell. Let's check out the cherry carry. Right before this wave comes, we'll grab this up. Woo! Nice. Oh, I keep dropping that. No. But let's check that out. How cool is that? Got an octopus hole, of course. It's actually, no, definitely not freakish. It's just a bit odd on top there. Here's the cherry. Thank goodness it didn't get lost. But please do not bite my fingers, whatever is down there. How cool is that, eh? Awesome. Nice little, um, not sure if it's Arabian or a Eglantina. I always get super confused. So if you guys know, please comment down below. That is an awesome shell find. Anything else down there? Nope. We're gonna come back to check it Bonnet Bay later. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, please, no, it's just a piece. Oh, I've been looking for one of these cones for so long. And here's another piece of it. Look at this giant uh, soldier cone. I've been looking for one of these shells, whole shells, for the longest, longest time. That is a giant piece. I believe people in Hawaii call that a puka. P-U-K-A. The top of a cone shell. Dang. That's harsh. One day I'll find one, surely. Let's just carry down here. Uh, just a common something. No idea. That's such a shame. That's harsh. But hey, we got a nice uh, Eglantina, I believe it is. And that is the find of the day so far, absolutely. Nice, got that octopus hole. Empty, of course. Legendary. Look at this shot. Got the surfer right there. How cool is that? To walk through the high tide line here, about to go over to those rocks over there. I look over here in this little pile and I spot myself a little hairy triton. Let's let the water calm down for a sec. Maybe you could take a look. But you can see it right there. Let's check it out. 
Oh, nice. Super hairy Triton. It's definitely broken its lip. I'd say this one would have came in this morning at high tide because this is one of the high tide like piles underneath the water. So that's cool. It's very small yet it's super, it's got super long hairs. I think that's pretty cool. I was just about to get the GoPro out and start doing some underwater shots. That's nice. A live massive hairy triton right here this one is super pointy very cool oh yeah definitely alive come on buddy I just want to say hi there we go Wow super pointy and some super nice colors there these guys can't hurt you completely harmless they're just bottom feeders so they eat all the algae and maybe even some tinier snails just like these ones very cool I've had much luck finding empty shells of those recently. Guys, we have, wow, a live juvenile or actually sub-adult Arabian cowrie. I've only ever seen and shown you guys the full adult Arabian cowries. I've actually never seen a live uh, sub-adult, which is really cool. You can see the snail in there. He's sort of growing out his shell. You can see all the growth lines there. Isn't that just so unique? We're gonna put him back down here now. Oh, don't wanna put him upside down. There you go, buddy. How cool is that? Wow, what a very cool surprise. Anything down in here, snail shell. Not too much. Probably can't look over there just yet. I wanted to look around there. Oh, I might actually be able to now. That was such a cool little sighting. All right, let's check it out. I never have much luck around this part here. There's probably just too much water flow for anything to get stuck and hammered in between a rock. All right, let's keep searching. What the heck is this, you guys? It looks like it might be some type of sea hare but it doesn't have the antlers or the purple or anything. Very, very strange. I'm not gonna touch it because as you guys know, most colorful things, most colorful live things in Australia seem to be poisonous. So I'm not gonna touch that and uh, we're just gonna leave that be. That is very odd to see. What the heck was that? The shell's waiting here right now. We've got a broken bonnet, dang. If you've never seen the inside of a bonnet, that's what it looks like. Pretty interesting. A bunch of swivels and stuff like that. Pretty cool. But then we have a magnificent bow here. Pretty old, pretty broken. But that's all right. Hopefully we'll find a big one today. Haven't found a big one in quite a while actually. So that would be very nice. It's probably not the season for it because it's been so long. Bunch of piles in here. Let's check these out. Water is chilly today. Oh, we've got some water coming. I spotted myself a, uh, hard to tell, it could either be a clandestine cowrie or a donkey cowrie. Clandestine is a little cowrie with white lines on top and then the black one is black lines with on top, which is a donkey. I think this is a clandestine. Yep, I was right. Wow. Oh man, two little holes. That's really odd to see. It's such a tiny shell that they can barely withstand any breaks without breaking completely. So that's pretty cool actually. It's got a really nice uh, condition. As you can see, it's got those tiny, tiny lines on top. Right along there. Very nice. All right, oh, is that an Isabella or is that just tricking me? Yes, it's not an Isabella, it's just tricking me. Dang, very common cowrie. Oh, another clandestine, you're joking. What the heck? Two. Nice. And this one does not have holes in it. Sweet as. Now the other one's probably buried somewhere in my pocket. I've already put it in there. Yeah, it's gone somewhere. Dang. Two little clandestines. Sweet as. All right, let's continue with the show. Is this a whole bonner or is it broken? Oh, it's broken. Badly battered. Dang. Ah, oh, what a shame. Be free, young bonnet. I see 
a giant pile over there and there. Haven't found any shells at all yet. Just arrived. So let's see what we can find today. Comment down below what you think we'll find, what the best shell find will be, and what you hope to see found. I think the best shell find of the day is going to be a textile. Here, let's put the first step into the freezing water. Oh, it's not that bad today, actually. I do see a super old grape. Oh, that is freezing. Wow, that is very old crazy old actually probably the oldest one i've ever seen so i think we're going to find a uh, textile cone today that's going to be the best shell find and i hope to find a helmet shell i think that'll be sick look at this big pile it's, looks like it's already been sifted through though but you never know people always miss stuff Tiny little snake head. Tiny. I got way too many of those. I think I'll leave that. Not too much. Every cone right here. It's in a weird spot, but it's like, it's white. So I'm not sure if it is um, live or empty. I'm gonna say it's empty because it's super white. Wow, it's not. It's actually alive. Yeah, definitely. That's the whitest one I've ever seen. Usually when they're alive, they're yellow, or at least have some yellow on them. But this one is 100% alive. So we're gonna hide him back where he was right now. There you go, buddy. You have a very nice shell. Keep a hold of that. What do we got? What do we see? little like triton sort of shell right here never actually seen one before like this looks a bit old i have no idea what sort of shell is if i had to take a wild guess it would definitely be a sort of like triton not a hairy triton but something like that comment down below if you know i've never seen one before i think is this going to be a nice checkered bonnet shell it's got a slight hole right there but i think it'll be okay Looking like it. Nice. How about that? It's got that tiny hole, but it's kind of, it's kind of like uh, a different shape. It's like not round as usual. It's got like a kink around here. That's pretty cool. Very hard to find uh, freakish bonnets. I wouldn't really call that one a freak, honestly. A freak shell is something with like a defect, you know, it's got like a longer aperture or a longer tail or a double tail or something like that and i don't think that is quite a freak just yet but that's all right still pretty cool what else do we have around here we're on the other side now as you can tell the swell is crazy right now just unbelievable like it's pretty it's pretty calm right now which is nice but i should be able to show you pretty soon when it gets crazier. Anything in here? A couple of piles. I see an Erosa. Oh, it's just disappeared, has it? Nope. Nice, wow. Super nice Erosa. Absolute score on that one. A couple of piles here and here. That one is sweet. I'm gonna come back to these piles because while it's low, I wanna take a look around here. What do I see straight off the bat? Mm, not too much. I'm gonna lift these rocks up though. Big chunk of coral. Pull that out and show you guys. These pieces are everywhere all the time. There's another big piece. Even after a clean, these ones don't come out too pretty. And there's so many pieces around here, so I don't usually take them. Anything hiding in here? Bunch of live, uh, what are they? Snakeheads. Oh, 
and there's an Arabian, but is it alive or is it empty? Please be empty. Oh my goodness, it's alive. Giant fella. I thought it'd be empty because it's like in a sort of weird spot. That's amazing color underneath. That's such a nice one. I love it. Very cool, super slimy. Yuck. There's so many live uh, snakeheads though. Look, one, two, three. I see a prickly droop in there. Oh, it's a big one. Heck yeah. Come on, there we go. Look at that, that's a big droop. Big prickly droop. That one will definitely come out nice with a clean. That is wicked. Nice little surprise hidden under there. A couple of surprises, look at this. We've got snakeheads everywhere. Another one here, like an anemone. They're always weird to touch. Don't know too much about them. That's a pretty cool find. Big bonnet shell there, hopefully anyway. Hopefully it's whole. Looks pretty stuck. Yes, nice. It's definitely a bit old, but it's like, it's not beaten up or anything. Oh, a snakehead. Sweet, I'll take that. Let me just flip this back over. Nice as, definitely needs a little uh, bleach bath, but it's still a whole shell, am I right? Nice checkered bonnet shell. So the scientific name for these ones, this one here is called a Phallium arola, P-H-A-L-I-U-M, A-R-E-O-L-A, -E I believe, if my spelling is correct. Pretty cool, I like it. Wow, look at that rock. I never usually find rocks with holes like this in them. Usually they're only the massive ones. Sorry, Mr. Droop. That's cool, isn't it? Very strange. I do see these semi-often, but they're always the giant ones, like that sort of big. So that's cool. I don't think I'll take it. I just want to sort of admire it for a minute. Very strange. See, there's another bit of coral right there. What I call like a hazelnut cone down here. It's one of the cone shells with the purple on the tip of the tip the bottom of the shell Yeah, it is cool. These ones are pretty hard to find to be honest. I never usually have too much luck with them So that's a nice one Pretty hard to find as well. I've maybe found maybe find like one every two weeks being in good condition So that's nice I hate walking on this little slope. Scary. What do we got in here? It's actually a nice limpet. Wow, look at those colors. That's pretty cool, huh? Something different. We usually find a ton of these in the micro shelling videos. So if you haven't seen, I actually want that, what am I doing? So if you haven't seen my micro shell videos, go check those out somewhere in the uh, channel. We've got a bunch of them. Alrighty. Oh, I hate these rocks. See when the rocks are like this? Super slippery. Now I'm just in rubber shoes. Guys, this might be the best find of the day. Let's check it out. You guys see what I see right there? That is a Gaia Triton. And, oh, it's live. That thing is huge. Wow. These ones are pretty hard to find here. Like I've only ever found two or three, I think in the last, what, two years that I've been coming to this beach. They are so cool in my opinion. I reckon they're just incredible. Gaia Tritons, very hard to find. That one's got some very nice colors as well, but you guys know what the drill is. We do not take live shells. So we'll see you another day. Look at this cane shell, super old. All right, buy my friend, you got a nice house. Don't ever sell it. What about in here? We're at the Checkered Bonnet Bay, classic. It is crazy right now. Look at the size of some of these waves. My good uh, micro shell piles along this little sandy flats. We've got a bean carry. Very cool. Anything else in here? Ah, bit of uh, pink coral, epic. Pink coral is very hard to find. Coral at all is hard to find, apart from those red pieces. So there's a couple of nice little ones. 
It's very peaceful right here. Another big piece of soldier cone. Maybe it's a season for soldier cones instead of uh, textile cones. And I'll be happy with that because I find a lot of textile cones and I'd love to swap some out for some soldier cone finds. Dang, that's harsh. Look at this pile of shell grit here. This is usually where I go shelling, just up on the sand just behind me. So like all these pieces are just gonna be broken stuff. A lot of red coral though, which is nice. Just about filled up my jar. Got more piles here. Might be something cool left in them. Maybe. Let's just keep looking. What about here? Not really. A nice little uh, Triton shell here. It's definitely a Triton of some sort. Not sure if it's a hairy Triton. I would personally call this an elongated Triton of some sort. Very nice. No hermit crabby in there, I don't think. Pretty positive. Very cool. It's actually got some hair growing on that little, little uh, corner there. So I guess it is a type of hairy Triton. Sweet as. Do we have anything else around here? I did check out Checkered Bonnet Bay just then. Absolutely nothing in there, unfortunately. It's just way too rough there at the moment, I think. Alrighty guys, here is everything that we found in today's episode. Best shell find of the day, let's see. We've got a bunch of good ones, but today's best would definitely be this Arabian Cowry right here. This was half, or actually two thirds dug under sand in quite an unusual spot. I've actually never found an Arabian in that little sand pocket right there, which is pretty cool. Yeah, this one is super smooth. Like this one is already dry and it is super glossy. I love when they're like that. This one I reckon will be going into the case. Absolutely. I've got about 13 or 14 Arabian and Eglantina carries that I've all found in this one little section in my case at home. And they're all the best ones that I've ever found. I found probably well over a hundred of them, but there's about 13 or 14 in there that are the uh, top best ones ever. So they will definitely be going in there. Got an Eglantina right there with a, uh, what is it, octopus hole right there. That was pretty sweet. That was actually the first one of the day. Got this giant hairy triton there. That was pretty cool. Real shame about that lip though. That would have been incredible to see. But it's no surprise, honestly, it's a huge shell and it is uh, super thin around that little area. Pretty cool though. Got two clandestines. This one has holes, which is pretty interesting because it's such a tiny shell. So it's pretty cool. Got another hairy triton here, again with a broken lip. A lot of hair on it. Another little hairy triton sort of thing. Pretty cool. What else do we have? A piece of pink DNA coral. Very cool. And we got another clandestine bunch of cool things today thank you guys for watching subscribe down below